Let me mute you. Good day. This free acrylic tutorial is being brought to you by the Ginger Cook Academy of Fine Art and Acrylic Painting and, con and contributors and caring viewers like you. And now, without further ado, I have the distinguished honor and privilege of presenting to you the Queen of Color, the Mother of Artists, globally acclaimed, award-winning Master Acrylic Artist, and the star of our show, Ginger Cook, as she once again mesmerizes her audience with the daring do's and don'ts of painting with acrylic. camera? I am. Are you smiling? I'm smiling. Okay. Say hello to everybody. Hi, guys. Hello. <laughs> hey. Hello. Hello. <laughs> you know, I would love a light or something that said when we're oh, on. This is oh. so screwy. I, you hear me whine about this all the time. I'm gonna. Seems like the camera's very far away, too. See, I've done that before. You go, and you look at it, and you go, what's the light for? <laughs> well, I forget. <laughs> You know, that's back in the day. Remember back uh, in the days we used to have pagers? I used to hate those things, those phone pagers. Oh, Man, those were a pain. I just didn't want to be paged. Yeah. Uh, felt like, you know, didn't like it. Uh, anyway, uh, thanks for joining us today on a, uh, kind of an odd Saturday. Normally we don't... Why? We don't, wait, 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 wait. Why isn't it an odd Saturday? Well, normally it's not the Saturday that's <laughs> odd. It's we're going to be odd today because... Uh, normally we're on Sunday, but uh, Monday I, the doctor scheduled me for colonoscopy, which means that Sunday is all day <laughs> drinking horrible stuff. No, no, it's good stuff. Whatever it is, <laughs> I didn't think probably that would be the day to schedule a live broadcast. And this was a last minute thing. You know, I think the question was how long, how long since it's been since you'd had one? I said had what? And then, <laughs> oh, that. Well, never, never. You know, never. No, never. Well. That won't do. You know, you know, you you thought I was on fire the way you made that appointment. You know, <laughs> but once they find out you have Medicare, you know, then all bets are off, right? They're just going, oh, someone else will pay for it. Great, let's schedule it in. But <laughs> let's just do it. Let's just do it. So we'll tell you how that goes on. So uh, Monday evening, I expect to be, you know, it's the first thing Monday they're going to do it. Then I guess I sleep for a few hours, and then Monday night we're gonna. Do a live show. That's our plan, right? Let's see if, <laughs> if I'm hardly alive, then you'll know it, right? If I, you see me, no, you see me and I will do one. But anyway, we're that's our plan. So thanks, thanks to you guys for kind of Judy and the rest of the gang that had to kind of screw up their Saturday to come moderate our live show. So again, but on the other hand, we've got this great tutorial that we're going to do today with the with the gals on the bobsled. And I think this is really cute. I think this is a fun painting. It's what I call stylized art. It's the kind of art that could be really cute for a card. That would be and, perfect for a card. I think it would be really, really cute for a card. And, um, um, and then you could change them to guys, too, you know, add a few mustaches or something. And, you know, it could be a guy in a New York minute, right? So, you know, that I think you could customize the faces, to, personally. I, my thinking is that you could do a lot, right? I mean, I wouldn't suggest putting people in bikinis or anything, but I think you could do a lot with it. Um, Would you like me to slide on down? So, John will be so kind as to slide on down. So, if you've never uh, been to our channel before, we have some of the most amazing acrylic tutorials, and they're all over the map. You know, we we teach you stylized painting. We go back to the old dead guys and teach you art that's been done by Van Gogh and Renoir and those guys, and and then we'll teach you all kinds of different styles from. Because our, my idea is not to teach you to paint like me but to teach you to paint like you. And if you can try a diff enough different styles, you're going to find your style, just like you find your handwriting, your own rhythm of speaking, and you're going to find your own, I think that is a good term here, you're going to find your own rhythm in painting. And, um, you know, that just takes practice, and it doesn't matter what someone else does. I mean, if you, really, it's important thing, the thing is, learn to mix the colors, learn the basics, and... Um, where that's the thing. If you can learn the basics of how to make the toys work, then, you know, the sky's the limit to what you can paint. So we have a little 6 by 8 These are real canvases. This is what I painted on. And I painted, I've got a, um, 
uh, one that's been painted dark blue, just sort of, a, this is what we do with the leftover paint from, uh, you know, any painting session. Um, you know, if we have something left over, like, for instance, what did we paint yesterday? Oh, that's a great lesson. Uh, we did see. a palette knife for the Wave and Water. Yeah, paint. I did. This is going to be our, one of our Wave and Water Master Classes for our Academy in December. It's a new release. And this is what we painted yesterday. And uh, a lot of the rocks and everything in the water was all done with the palette knife. Great and lesson. Two hour lesson. Two hour lesson, and we made it small enough for, you know, I know everybody's busy in December, doesn't have hours and hours to do things, but you certainly could make this larger. And again, we talk about the uh, our, our old ed artist that originally came up with this back in 1842. So he was English. So we'll talk about that in that. So if you have, if you're considering about you know, giving yourself a wave and water master class some month, um, December might be the one to do it. So. Anyway, that's that's the kind of the and it, we end up with extra paint and then we start painting all the canvases around anything lying around we paint with something. So what you want to say if you go to our my Pinterest uh, and I put a link and I did put a link in the um, description. There is a link in the description um, of, to Pinterest and you can just go ahead and print yourself out a black and white and then just um, and then we'll just use that to trace on the image. Okay, but before that, what we have to do is come up, I want to have this teal background and a little bit of the snow before we ever start with the tracing of the image, but I'm just going to give you that. Okay, that's what we're going to do. And I told you I thought it would make a nice card, and let me show you a great trick. This is small tape. Now you could use wider tape. You could use, you know, quarter inch tape. I'm using a little narrower tape, and I'm going to show you sometimes if you want to do a painting as a gift, you want to use it as a card, you can... Um, this is, uh, you could mail, actually, probably, if you varnish this and you um, glued this on a but pretty good piece of cardboard, you could probably put this through the mail as a postcard, I think. Don't you think so, John? Oh, absolutely. You could, right? So yep. what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take the tape, pull it tight between two fingers like that, I'm pulling it tight, and I'm going to line up the edge right here like that. Okay. And... Uh, I'm going to do it on this table, not on this paper. Nothing sticks to this table, so this is a good one. See, and I didn't get it too straight then. Let's just straighten this up right like that, okay? And then what you do is you just take a palette knife and you uh, cut the, hold the palette knife down and you just cut the tab, okay, like that. And then you squish it down. And your paint should be very dry before you do this. So this is just a, this is just how you make a little border. I don't know if I've showed this once before, but I haven't showed it this year. And if you didn't know how you did that, uh, then the palette knife. I like one with a little sharper edge to cut, right? And there you go. There's the palette knife, and then out comes a, another little piece of tape. And uh, I, I think this is clever. I think it's, it's, it's a fun way to give a little border, make something a little neater, particularly if you were thinking. I know some of you were thinking, well, I wasn't thinking, but now that you mentioned, I guess we could do that. This, I think this would be really fun. And, you know, one of the things that I enjoy so much about our Facebook club, which is our free, our free thing on Facebook, a Ginger Cook Acrylic Painting Club on Facebook, is that when we do something like this, I'll promise you that when I see these sleds, everybody and their uncle is going to be in those sleds won't just be my, my girls singing. They'll be family members. They'll be the dog. You, you watch. Um, because this is the kind of painting where your imagination can run wild. Once you get the basic gist of how to paint it, this is, this is the fun. This is really great. Now, I'm going to just turn around this like this. Being right-handed, I find this is easier to do like this. I'm pulling that palette knife down really hard. And here's the secret to this tape. If your tail isn't long enough, you've never, you didn't leave yourself enough of an end piece, um, it doesn't, um, it, it's hard to tear it, okay, if, you, if the piece is too short, doesn't want to do it. All right, so there's our, that was our palette knife, we'll put the tape away. Here's our, um, here's the paper. Now, you'll, you'll notice that we've got some kind of, some teal color in here and the dark blue up here. So let's, um, uh, let me just move some stuff out of the way so I can get with you. Um, here we go. Uh, let's see. I think probably what I want to do is, um, I want, I, I want to get this teal color. We want a little yellow and, um, white and phthalo blue. 
uh, would be a good thing to get. Okay. I love it when John picks up. It's so nice. And we also, you want to go find yourself a toothbrush, too. If you, um, Hopefully not one you're using. Not one you're using. Just, you know, I know most people have electric anymore anyway, but, you know, some sort of just a, you know, a little toothbrush like this. That's a good thing to get. And um, I think I have Thalo Blue already. And I have, where's our white? I organized this all last night, so I'll be just be able to find things in a minute. You guys would be so proud of me. I just did all that. This has been the this has been the month. I think this has been the month for all the last minute doctor's appointments. You know, because your deductible starts over again in January. So, you know, I went and got my eyes checked, and they came out great. And you know, went and saw my regular doctor, and um, tried to explain why I hadn't shown up for months. And um. <laughs> I, you really can't come up with a good explanation, except uh, not I just, one that will accept. I really just, just every time I thought about going to see him, I said, "Oh, he's going to weigh me again. He'll notice I've gone up a few pounds. I don't want to talk about it. I, maybe I'll lose weight, then I'll make an appointment." I never did, but you know that's kind of. But you can't really say that. You have to come up with something else about why you haven't been there. Um, let's see. Let's try a little bit of uh, ultramarine blue too. And I think I had some hurt here earlier. I think that's what this is right there. That's ultramarine, and then let's get a little thalo. Okay. And this is our, the, and then we have white. So this will be what, probably all we need for just right now. No sense in putting out more paint than we need. Though I have to tell you, um, one of our, um, I think it was her, Jennifer did it. One of our, one of our academy members and Facebook Club members shared this, what she came up with, which I thought was just so clever. I've talked about this before. She lives in a very, very dry climate, Colorado. And I know we've got some people in Australia watching, um, South America, Africa, you know, Italy, Greece in the summer, places where it gets real hot and dry. And, uh, and even when you run the air conditioner, it takes all the moisture out of the house. So, um, you know, in the summertime, and what she was doing was putting two um, they're the kind of humidifiers that do, um, what am I looking, what's the word I'm looking for here, John? Uh, therapy. Or Esse essential therapy. oil humidifiers, yeah, essential right? Oils. And, and so then they just kind of steam and she put two small ones on each side of her easel and they sort of steam, the, the steam kind of came up in front of her canvas. She never has a problem with uh, things drying out too quickly. Wasn't that clever? I mean, I just thought that was great. All right, so I'm going to take a little just angle brush, but you could use a bright brush, dampen it, wipe it on a towel, start with white and a little bit of the thalo, a little tiny bit of the yellow. Look at that. We've got this great kind of kind of aqua color isn't that pretty and then that's a great color and now here's the trick whenever you're painting with over tape never shove the paint under the tape always go kind of away from it so we're going to do that and just uh, kind of turn this around like this just don't have a lot of water on your brush if your brush is damp but if you have a lot of water the paint will go right under this tape um, now it's easy enough to make this color so just kind of make it as you need it, and don't worry if you don't, if it isn't always the exact same color. I think I want to darken this a little bit, though. Here we go. Uh, I think it's prettier if it's um, not quite all the same. And then, of course, we're going to do a little snow over this. So do you have any questions why I'm happily painting um, this light blue color? Yeah, Jules had a question in regards to the water that we use. If it's too acidic or too base, like, what's the other choice? Alkaline, 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 yeah. Does that influence how the paints behave and the longevity of the product? You know who to call is Golden. Yeah, I would check with Golden. I, on I, that, I, this is never. I've never worried about your paints are going to last millions of years. Your oil paints are not. Uh, your acrylic paints are going to last a lot longer than your oil paints. Because it's plastic. And um, I'm sorry, they just will. Um, and you know how I know this. And look, I've got this kind of going up at an angle. Now I'm going to go back into the ultramarine blue, start blending this out. Um, when, after World War II, the Russians, when they invaded uh, Germany, they found the stash where Hitler had taken and stolen a lot of the artwork from uh, different people that, uh, you know, uh, were either put in concentration camps or kicked out of the country, whatever. But he, they ended up, well, lots of different ways, they ended up with the art. 
And what they and so then the Russians and we got a lot of it too. But when the Russians liberated Germany with the United States, I guess that's how that story goes. Um, sorry, I just watched the news. If it happens some other way, don't get mad. Um, <laughs> that's what I, I'm told had that happened. That is not our expertise. You know. So you know. But anyway, the story goes that they ended up with a pile of the artwork from Renoir and Monet and the gang. Of the gang. The old gang. And then when the uh, iron, who I'm going to sneeze. Right now? Yeah, when the iron curtain oh. came down, you know, when the wall came down, what we used to refer to, fondly called the iron curtain. That sounds terrible. That's not the iron curtain. When the, but, of course, we're building a brick wall. I wonder what they're going to call our wall. <laughs> <laughs> but, the brick wall. You know, the wall, right? But anyway, when the, when the iron curtain came down, um, the, uh, then... It suddenly became. It came to light that they had a lot of this, a lot of this artwork, and it had been in the basement of the Hermitage, which is their big, giant, gorgeous art museum in uh, Saint Petersburg. And what was interesting, the paintings that were had been in the dark for fifty years were much brighter in color than their counterparts from each artist that had been in really the best lighting any museum in the world could do, like the Louvre and the, and the, uh, you know, the Prado and the New York Museum and all that stuff. The, our museums all over the world, they're very careful with the painting and the lighting to not fade the paint. But even still, just being exposed to the elements um, of, you know, those oil paintings were faded compared to the ones that had been in the dark. But I'll tell you something, if they'd been acrylic paintings there, um, there wouldn't have been any difference. So I think you're worrying about some funny stuff. <laughs> Can I say that? I, I would think if you're concerned about what kind of water you're using, I wouldn't be drinking until I had it tested. Yeah. All right. Because pretty much the, the water that we get, the water that we get is a um, neutrally balanced. You know, they go for a 7, I think it's a 7 pH. Up here in the studio. I just come up and start sneezing. All right. The bear, the bear fur. All right. I'm going to take now, what we want to do now is have some snow here. And I could dry this, but I think I'm not going to. <laughs> I'm going to take, I've dampened the toothbrush. Can you see the palette? Yes. And I've taken some, uh, I'm going to do like this, just a tiny drop of water on this, like this, right? With me. Everybody's with me, like that. A little drop. Here's the paint. Okay. Now, what you want to do is then. Tap this off on a rag like that. Well, they can't see that. I oh, know. where were you pointing? Tap there this off on a rag like that, right? And then, then, what we're looking for is a test. Can you see it over here? Yes. Let's move this out of the way because this goes everywhere. You hold the toothbrush down and run your thumb on it. Oh, that's a nice pattern. That's a good pattern. All right, good so pattern. that's good. So now here we go. And where I want most of the snow, if you'll notice, is up around our people, not so much down here. Okay, so I'm just kind of doing it more in the dark blue area. Nice, nice, good effect. Now, that's a very stiff bristle, too. Yeah, stiff, yeah. You can have a little bit down here, but I'm not looking for much down here. Okay, so that's that's kind of look. That's that was the plan, right? You like it? Beautiful. All right. So then, and then I might put a little bit here, just a little bit here, just just, can. just a little bit down here, but not but the majority of it went up there. Uh, this makes great beach sand too. Different colors of beach sand, dry it in between. Oh, you didn't know that? Yeah, I'm telling you, it does. Okay, so then uh, we're going to take our tub of towels and wipe the fingers off. Uh, my favorite cloth. Those those of you guys that know me know that this is uh, my find of the centuries. These things that takes acrylic paint that's been on anything. You know, you could have it on the back of a chair. Three years later, it'll take it off. It'll take, and it doesn't hurt your hands. It's all kinds of great stuff. Tub of towels. We're, well, at the end of the show, we're going to have a giveaway of. I'm excited to tell you, we're going to be giving away for the, you guys that were so kind to catch our live class. We're going to be doing. Um, some downloadable lessons, and that, if you go to gingercookliveondemand.com, no. right? No, gingercookondemand.com, <laughs> right? Sorry, gingercookondemand.com. Um, we have how many lessons we have on there? I don't know, lots. 30, yeah. Probably over we'll forty adding, lessons, but... and there, and they have the one anything that's one credit. You know, that's a one, what we call a one credit lesson, and they range anywhere in price between what five dollars and. 
What? We have a five dollar one. We go all the way up to. I think seventy fives are most expensive. Yeah. So anyway, you can pick, pick the one that you want, and what's a nice about a downloadable one is that you can then have it on your computer, and you travel. You don't need the internet to watch it. You own it forever. So we're going to give away three of those at the end of the show. Machine. Now the uh, wet angle brush we're using was that a half inch? Yeah. This was a. Was that that was this one? That's the one you were using. Yeah, that was a half inch. Okay. So now I have to dry this. Okay. That's the next thing. Then we're going to trace the image on. Okay, so dry this really well, all right? All right, you're drying. All right, as she's drying that, um, we appreciate everybody, everybody showing up on a Saturday. This lesson will stay up after we're done with it. It's not one we're going to use when we'll be traveling. And speaking of traveling, we do want to let you know that we are going to be starting a new segment on this channel of our travel or ventures. We'll have a playlist on it. And we're going to be taking you with us as we go cruising around the world. We have one coming up shortly, so make sure that you subscribe to our channel, turn the little alarm on, and you'll get notified anytime we do something on the channel. Now, if you're experiencing you're not getting the notifications, unsubscribe, wait like five minutes, resubscribe, and turn the alarm back on. That seems to reset YouTube for you. Cool. All right, let's get this out of the way. All right, so here's our little black and white drawing. Okay, we're going to tape that down. And uh, this is fun. It's not like all the little furs. This is fun. And what color would you like of Sorel paper under that, my dear? Well, you know, this is interesting. Sorel comes in five colors. And um, if we had yellow anymore, I don't think we have yellow anymore, no, do we? No, yellow died. How about red? Oh, red? Red might be okay. Let's see if it red will work. I think red would work on that one. Do you think so? Pick it up for a second. Let me see it. I think red's going to be the best because we have blue or white and black. I go red. Let's try red. Let's try red. Let's see if the red will show up here. Let's just see. Let's just see because I know it'll show somewhere. Let's see. What you want to do is use a pen, but let's just do a funny little mark right here. Oh, that's funny. Oh, it looks good. Yeah, I can see it. Let me see if I can see it. I can it. see I can see it. I'm going to erase it. I can see it for sure. Oh, I can see it. Okay. Yeah, okay. So what you All do right. is you put this face down. This acts like... Uh, some of you remember what carbon paper used to be. Now, look, all right, let's, you don't have any of that. So now what are you going to do? Yeah, Ginger, this was all very good, but I don't have any of this fancy Sorel paper stuff. So what you want to do is just take a light pastel chalk some color that you can see, and smudge the back of this, but with about two coats, kind of blow it off, do it a couple of times, and then make your own, okay? Smudge it. Just smear it all over and make your oh, own. Chalk works fine. Chalk will, in fact, when Sorel doesn't work, here's when chalk is even better. Sometimes, if there's too much texture on your canvas or for whatever reason, you can't get the Sorel stuff to work at all, and chalk always works, and it's free. But you're, well, what, no, what do you, mean? you get free chalk? Where do you get free chalk at? I had to buy it from Amazon. What do you mean you get free chalk? Well, I'm not saying you have a connection. <laughs> you didn't tell it's, me about it, Sammy. Uh, uh, well, no, you buy it, so it's free to me. Oh, I see. That's <laughs> All right. where the free part comes. All right, in. here comes the glasses. We're gonna and and look. Once you you don't want this to move. So no, this you is don't. What, so this is where taping it down is handy, right? Like so. That's smart. All right, so here we go. We're going to just come around here like this. And I'm using a red pen so I can see where I have been. Her red is really orange, but that's okay. Uh, listen. Well, it is orange. This that's is not the true. red one. This is a sock folder in you. You can't help yourself, can you? No, I can't. You can't hey, Jules has a very good question here. Sure. Let's when have I it. use the affiliate links on the Academy website, does this benefit the Academy in any way? I'm often wondering if the Academy gets any benefit from my place, my orders, including from including from Amazon. Absolutely. We do. It's not a lot. It's two or three cents, but it adds up. If everybody does it, it if adds up. If everybody would use our affiliate link for Amazon, we would love you dearly, especially during the holiday season. You're going to buy it anyway. We have some great stuff on there, it the affiliate links. Nothing. You know, we've got this uh, transfer, Sorrel transfer paper. I mean, it's not a lot, but it does help. You know, it's funny. Have you ever been to, well, of course you've been to the grocery store. I know you have <laughs> been. But what I'm saying is, if you ever notice at the grocery store, 
One of the things that I have noticed when I'm at the grocery store is that you buy a 49-something and a 30-something and a 40, and you get out, and you've got a $120 bill here, and you're going, yeah, but the bananas were 30 cents, so how did this happen? This happens with us with art supplies, too. It's, you know, it's, you know, it's, All the time. it's a dollar for this, it's two dollars for that, and it adds up. It really does add up, so, you know, that does make a difference, and we appreciate it very much. And also, you know, when, uh, when you're watching a live show, um, you know, they have a, what, you know, for viewers that are live, it's possible you can make, um, uh, you know, donations that through, pay, uh, through uh, YouTube, okay, but, and which is appreciated, but if you go to our website and do it through, uh, we have a donation button, right, and you can do that anytime, not just during a live show, but um, um, the thing of it is, is that uh, PayPal takes like 3%, Amazon takes, or YouTube takes like, um, YouTube, YouTube takes, takes 30 percent. PayPal takes three percent. So for somebody um, was kind enough to uh, make a donation uh, last Monday night to Daniel, which would, the, on all that money will go to him, and he thanks you very much because he's uh, just starting up again as a, a professional artist without you know any other kind of job. So you know he's in when he's in between commissions, you know he has high fat and lean days, right, and. Um, uh, just so, it, any, anyway, um, so it will, th I think they, there was a $100 donation, but uh, $30 of that will be, um, uh, eaten up by YouTube. Will be eaten up by YouTube. So if you go to gingercooklive.gallery, then all the proceeds go that way. Now let me just see. I, sometimes it helps to look at the colored version too. I'm going to suggest that too. Is it print out a colored version? Because sometimes when you, in the black and white, it's kind of hard to tell sometimes what something is. And if you see the colored version, you at least know where you're, you're, where you're you kind at. of know where you're at. Does that make sense? And if you've missed something. Uh, somebody asked, can you use watercolor pencils on the back instead of chalk? I don't know. I don't think so. But you know, just try it. Let us know. You know, yeah, but I'm, sure I'm just that saying one. that most people have some sort of soft pastel chalk, and that's the best. And you can use. You know what you can use? Well, the thing is, you don't want to use graphite because then it makes a smeary mess. So you don't want like pencil. The idea is that you don't want pencil, but you don't want anything that feels like chalk. And um, uh, but this is really inexpensive. This Sorel transfer paper. This stuff here it comes in five colors, and I think it's what it's under ten dollars, isn't it, John? No, it's like five bucks or something. So it's like five bucks or something. It's under ten dollars. And and you can use these sheets over and over and over again. I mean, this is like if you buy it by the roll, like in the wax paper kind of roll, Which gosh, that's some. like a lifetime worth of stuff because you can use it over and over and over again. But uh, you'd want the roll if you're doing large paintings, all right? But if you're doing the small stuff, this is just perfect. If you're doing a little small stuff. Anything, you know, that size and smaller, you know, is kind of cool, right? So uh, question. When I use Liquitex Heavy Body, why does it create a bumpy layer when compared to the non-painted canvases? Am I adding too much paint without enough water or medium? Um, well, you know, it's supposed to look like an oil painting, not a watercolor. We can start with that, okay? But, I mean, this is, the, there's no, I don't know if you can scroll, can you, can you zoom in on this? Well, I'm. Okay. How zoom in? Can you zoom in really on the, get really close up on any of this? Yeah, I'll, I'm I'm on the purple person. All right, now look, there's really no bumps on this, but sometimes some of the paint gets old. Because there's no bumps on this. It starts drying out on you, and you put that on like at the end of the session. Sometimes when we're doing the background, we'll get that bumpy stuff, and unless you really smear it out, it will stay there. Yeah, so, no, sometimes that, that's probably no, your that's paint. That's probably what you're Shouldn't be doing that. It's drying out on you, and you're getting a skin, and the skin's getting put on it. All right, here's the big... You didn't even check it before? Man, you are so brave. Here's the uh, big unveil. I'm going to zoom in so we can... And, see you know, it. part of it's a little hard to see I up here. I think you're going to be all right. Joe! Joe! You, you could... Oh, man. You're going to blow out your eardrums doing that, you know. Well, you know... You know. So I what just are you getting once. Down now? Oh man. Okay. Oh. Uh, oh, these are our great pencils that we got from yes. uh, Robin. Robin. <coughs> here, give me a break here. You got a break here.
Now. All right, we're back. All right, I couldn't see this very well with the red, so now I'm taking the pencil and wherever there's a. I'm just taking these and kind of going over my outline. Where the blue was, it's a little hard to see. Does that make sense? Yeah. Hey, we'd like to thank Eric for the donation. Hey, just got here, had to get a new phone. Wow, great color. Why is Ginger's colors different from mine? Mm -hmm. They always are. Well, thank you he, very much, Eric, for the donation. That's very kind. Very, very kind. And Eric is going to, for our Facebook group, Eric, Eric won, bought himself some... Um, some walls that are wire walls to hang artwork on. He's going to, next next month in Las Vegas, there's a show apparently once a month where artists can hang their stuff and display it. Eric's going to do that. And and I want to mention something now. It came up in sort of a controversial post that we had to take down. Uh, with all love to Daniel Elliott, um, you're out of your mind, Daniel. Um, <laughs> sorry, but you're out of your lo loving mind, and you're a good friend, but um, I'll call you up and tell you in person what I really think about what you said. But here's the, here's the uh, edited version, right? We do give and we people, encourage. and we encourage uh, you guys to be able to paint something from our tutorials and sell them. We do not think it's despicable. We um, want you to do it. We want you to do it because we want you to be able to success. success. We're not talking about copying originals. I have other places, but if it's been a tutorial, you've you've got you can't make prints of it, but you've got our permission to sell it. I think Cinnamon has the same kind of deal. We just ask a little credit for, for where you got the design. Tell people that, but we want you to win. We want you to be financially successful if that's what you choose to do, or give them ways gifts or whatever. It's all right. We gave you permission, Daniel. Okay? Daniel, and um, <laughs> to tell somebody that, uh, what was the word? Oh, it was a nasty word. It was it not, not nice? But the, the um, I should put that somewhere. The opinions uh, on our page, the opinions, uh, the comments of our uh, members do not represent the... the do not uh, reflect. The, the reflect the opinions of the Ginger Cook uh, Acrylic Facebook Painting Club of Ginger Cook and John Little. They just don't. You want to know what my opinion? Ask me, right? Don't ask Daniel. Mm. We love you, Daniel. But. but don't ask Daniel. And why I'm thinking about Daniel, i got to say, he was here Monday. Great guest. Get, you got to catch the show. Um, here was the painting he did. And we used these new colors from, well, they're not new, but they were new to us, from Liquitex. They're called muted colors. Muted. And there's no mo bumps in any of this. And he wasn't using water, by the way. Um, and we put this up on a one-week auction, but we had a buy it now feature. And uh, it has been sold. And paid for. So this will be shipped to, who bought it? It's going to Canada. It's going to Canada. All right, so it's going I to Canada. It's... So this got sold and paid for. But right. we also right. last week told you that um, one of the, on the Academy of Fine Art and Acrylic Painting, our regular video lesson library, every week we add something to it. And sometimes it's a beginner lesson, sometimes it's an intermediate, uh, advanced, and sometimes it's, oh my gosh, I can't believe you want me to paint that lesson. <laughs> but um, we do, do those. And I showed you this where we took Oh, it's a, even upside down. Oh, I showed you this where we moved Daniels. I showed you this a painting of the ice skates, old-fashioned ice skates. And in this tutorial, I show you how to, and we're releasing this the next couple of days. We just got a little behind because of all the doctor stuff we had to do this week. Um, and Here's how I show you how to take a small one like this and grid it and turn it up and make it larger and look how we match the I match the colors and did all that and I thought someone might just want to own this painting and we really discounted it a lot we put it in the auction at uh, uh, gingercookauction.com and there is a buy it now feature just like for Daniels but uh, we I but you can still bid on that if you want to and if you want to just buy it now then that's the end of the auction and it closes and it's yours so. If you think you'd like to have this as a holiday de deco decoration, um, anyway, that's available. Gingercookauction.com. Yeah. It's Nevis that bought it. Yeah, Daniels. It's what? Nevis. Nevis bought it. Okay. So congratulations. And then one other question came up when you said we can't do prints of our, of our paintings, of our tutorials. We do have an exception if you want to make a Christmas card. Yeah, that's different, and that and I think this would be a cute Christmas card. Okay, you can do Christmas cards. We kind of encourage that. I think that would be cute, and also, um, someone says, "Where can I get Christmas cards painted?" Here's a couple ways to do Christmas cards. Strathmore makes 
a, a, a pretty heavy duty paper that will take acrylic paint and it comes with envelopes and you can get that at the Arthmore. Strathmore makes that. And then sometimes if you go to places like, um, uh, uh, well, any of the office supply stores and I think even uh, and places that sell Christmas cards, they have the blanks where the photos go. And what you can do is that you can then put your artwork in the photos where the photo would go and, and make that a Christmas card. Or, or, or. you could also, um, overnightprints.com, um, there's several places if you Googled uh, custom, first, you know, what do they call it? Not personalized prints, but something. What do they call it? Um, oh, no, 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 please, please, let me get that. Yeah, my here. Queen. Yeah, here. Um, anyway, you can print them up. They're pretty inexpensive. You can even do postcards. Postcards, and what I've discovered about OvernightPrints.com is that if you go right to their website, you know, they'll have X number of dollars for something. But if you go, if you Google it, they always have a coupon, which is usually 50% off. So look for that. And um, there you go. Okay. Hey, we'd like to say hello to Andrew who made it to the house. So we have two males in the house plus Bear and myself. Hi, Andrew. All right, this is fun. So again, I'm going to encourage everybody to um, to have fun with this painting. Let's see, since this is sold, let's remove this painting from the... Yes, um, let me get all, both of those out of here. And just get those out. So get, anyway, we're going to... Well, this, cool. is a, this is a small Sherpa, just round brush. And I'm just going to take some white paint. And I know I need the hat up here painted. And, and because yellow only paints over white, I'm just going to uh, paint this... Um, little hat here. I think, I, you know, I, it's this is confusing enough to me where I don't know where anything is. I'm going to go ahead and just paint that through here, wherever there's a little bit of white here. Staples will also do um, cards and so does Vistaprint. We've used Vistaprint. Yeah, Vistaprint mark. we've used before and I thought some other people we've used. I just can't think of them, but you know, look around and uh, and I probably, you know what you ought to do is when you go to the Facebook club, ask some of the group, you know, who they've been using to print uh, Christmas cards and postcards. But postcards, here's why you might want to do a postcard. The cheaper to mail. Cheaper to mail. I can remember, this will date me, but I can remember, um, some of you can too, I know you can, don't lie to me about it, some of you, I, I can remember where, when postcards were like two cents penny to mail, you know, and it was just really such a cheap postage, really, uh, just really cheap. All right, here's a little bit of uh, cad red medium, and um, yellow and white, let's put a little more white in that. Uh, just lighten that up. Okay. I think if I lighten up the, if I do the faces first, that might help me figure out where who's who's where. I'm kind of lost here. I'm looking at all this pattern. It's like a puzzle. Going, this looks like a face. I wonder if that's a face. There's a face. It's four faces. Can't be that hard. Let me get a little bit gentle. I don't want everybody to have look like they've got jaundice. <laughs> Just. Um, my sister years ago worked at a drugstore as a male person. You know, she they had a little post office in the drugstore in Seattle, Madison Park, in Washington State. And uh, she had gotten really sick. And uh, the, uh, and she had turned, her, her skin had turned yellow. She had just turned yellow. It was terrible. And uh, her, the druggist didn't say anything. He didn't want her to go home because he needed her working, I think. So, uh, um, anyway, the, um, she, 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 uh, one of the doctors that in the neighborhood had come in to mail something. And he said, Jeannie, you don't look well. You're, you're yellow. And she said, oh, I've been eating yellow cough drops. <laughs> and he just <laughs> he just looked at it and said, uh, no, um, I'm so sorry you don't turn yellow from eating yellow cough drops. You're actually very ill. Please come see me. I thought that was funny. I need another quick break, Kleenex break. Yep, go. What? Thank you. Thank, thank you. Mute mic. I don't know. Do you open the windows? What do we do? 
<laughs> hey, uh, we have a, a reason I put that over there. Somebody asked, what do we use to varnish with? It's already scrolled by and who it was. Slide it over to us. Oh, oh, no. This is what we use. We like, we use it, and we, I've got a video on YouTube on how to varnish, the 10 things you should know about varnishing. This is one of them. No, I have one too. And, uh, and John has a, over on the Tech Bear, if you haven't subscribed to our Tech Bear channel, it's just, it's all funny little videos on uh, how to make your Funny work. little videos, yeah, but, Sammy. Oh. <laughs> funny little, that's what we do now, funny little videos. <laughs> Would you have a, like to make a comment about that? <laughs> Give her a look. What I'm saying is, is that you want to know how to watch the, you know, the show on your phone or how to print something. I know. Or, these are all the tech questions it. that all our viewers ask us. And, you know, how to make the computer work so you can do your art, basically. And, you know, your cameras and all that stuff. And any time a question comes in that, uh, you know, we get a couple questions, then John makes a video about it. So it's really probably the neatest channel out there for just, you know. How little to quickie little things. Work. You know, and then plus, we also have... We do something in our art academy called personal art coaching. And when you're a monthly or annual member, you can send me in your artwork, and, and then I'll make a little video. Uh, oftentimes, you get a video back from me, personal note from me, my voice, telling you how you can improve it. And if you want to know what that's like, several of our members graciously, graciously offered to let... Uh, us post their packs, their packs about their paintings on, I think there's 10 or 12, personal art coaching packs, personal art coaching. Let them post uh, post that on the Tech Bear channel. So it's the Tech Bear on YouTube, T-E-C-H, right? T-E-C-H, yeah. Yeah, Tech Bear. So, so you were uh, muted there for a little bit of that. You didn't get unmuted the last time. What, I got who, you muted towards the end. Who did? <laughs> you. For what? Never mind. You're good. All right. So here's the, here's the, I think I need a little yellow oxide too. Um, we need to have the soundboard in a different spot, Sammy. So, you know, another, another really cute um, video we have on here is Snow Buddies. It's the little snowmen. And it's kind of in this genre of things. It's if you guys were looking for fun things to paint. Okay. So here's a little bit of yellow oxide coming under here like this. Here's the little arm back here around behind this person's hat. There's a little hat back here. And um, I did this yellow here. And um, here's the book right here. And just I'm just looking to see where else can I can use this color. This is a little angle brush and it's perfect for a painting like this. And if I add a little orange to that, that same color, and maybe, you know, the color I didn't put out was purple. Um, I have purple. Yeah. Every so what else has purple. come up? We had some really good questions this week about stuff. And oh, anyway, oh, 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 the brush, the brush, the brush lady from Australia. Remember she had the mop brush? It was... Um... Oh, yeah. So um, there was a lady that said she had a... Uh, some sort of mop br brush. A silver. She silver said that, all she said it was a silver mop, mop brush, brush. which I don't, have never used. But anyway, she said it was shedding like um, you know, an, you know, an old dog, you know, <laughs> and uh, an old mangy dog, and and she, she didn't like that. And I said, you know, they're not brushes. I I've never had any silver brush shed on me. And mm. my thing is, if you ever have a problem with a brush, don't, don't you know. Go Look, the they make thousands of them. There's bound to be one that's that didn't get made right. You know, it's just the odds of that. And if you got one of those, kind of like the lemon car, send it back. And they'll send you another one. You know, that's what they do. So you know, it does, don't don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. Do you remember that expression? Oh yeah, absolutely. Throw the baby out with the bathwater. Why well, use little... their um, ultimate varnish brush, which is a mop type brush, and I've never had a hair come out of that. No, but uh, one of the things that we, that we have to used to have to do at Jerry's, you see I made a little bit of brown for the sled here. You're using a quarter inch right now? Mm-hmm. Yeah, looks like One a quarter. of the things I used to have to do at Jerry's is, uh, if you know, from some of their brushes that they made, which were the, um, if I have any of those, um, these are the Creative Mark brushes, is they suggest that you t run them under the sink and do like this with the, all the brand new brushes before you ever use them to get all the loose shed hairs out. But I promise you I've never had to do that once with a silver brush. 
So, you know, it's all, I guess it's all perception, but I've never had to do it. Okay, so let's, get, get, all right, so we're just doing the underpainting now. What we're doing now is just trying to figure out where all the colors go. Does that sound good to you? I mean, I'm just trying to figure out where everything goes. You're kind of blocking it. I'm blocking so it in, all. and then we'll add some highlights. But right now, like, for instance, we know that we've got a purple parka for this lady right here. And I uh, uh, want to make sure that you don't want a lot of extra paint on your brush. You just want to keep the paint kind of flat. Here we go. So we're going to come around here like this and um, paint this in. We, uh, when Cinnamon was a kid, we lived in Aspen. She was a little girl. And we lived in Aspen, Colorado. And her dad had a really wonderful snowmobile. And um, we would go up. They would close um, a couple of the roads, the, the one main pass leading out of town. They would close that in the winter because they couldn't keep it open enough. They still do, but they used to then close it. And then uh, we would, uh, I can't even think of the name of the pass. It'll come to me in a minute. And we would go up there and um, and, you, and it, we'd have that beautiful road that was just all snowy. We'd go up there and go snowmobile, snowmobiling on it. Which well, yeah, was really fun, right? And Cinnamon had a, a really marvelous little snowsuit. And uh, she and her dad had rigged up the um, from the exhaust pipe from the snowmobile. He had these little tiny um, tubes. They were about as big around as this brush, and um, and he and they a little bit of heat would go through him. And he had little tubes going into each of her shoes. She'd ride on the sled with him, and into her mittens so her hands didn't get cold. It was just very thoughtful. We always felt sorry for the other kids that were out there in the woods and they were freezing. He never liked it. He'd see parents out there with them. Um, with their uh, fancy equipment, and then their kids were freezing, and it used to make him, that was just one of her, her dad's hot buttons, that they, that they had the nicest equipment, and their kids were practically shot, you know, had nothing. So, all right, we're going to start with a little green now, a little bit of phthalo blue and yellow. I want a bright, pretty bright green. Has Ginger ever used the silver white brushes by Silver Brush? I uh, have not. Nope, didn't think so. Uh, have not it's not one it. I've seen. It's not one I've ordered. I've, I've not seen how used I'm those. The ordering department. Oh, wait a minute. I am the ordering department. Well, you are. You are. I think there's a little bit of this green This lesson here. you're watching now will stay up. Yeah, it's staying up. We did the other one. The one, and you guys, don't be mad. We did the other one because we're going to be traveling over Thanksgiving. We're going to be gone. And this is, we're going to be releasing this later. And, but we did a live show um, early, you know, on Halloween, and, and those of you who got to see that, you know, won all kinds of stuff. It was a great, there was, you know, Good but show. this will, will be up later, but not right now. You know, we, we, we did a survey and asked you guys what kind of lessons you like when we're traveling, and you all voted that you like the live lessons rebroadcast. So that's, that's what, what we you do. said. That's what you so said. So don't get mad at us if we take them down. <laughs> you know, that's what you. That's what we. But definitely... typically, if they're on a normal day, which who knows what's normal for us, it's supposed to be Sunday and Monday. But usually, Saturday, Sunday, or Monday, they who knows. It's a little darker right here. Yeah. Um, there's just you almost have to be kind of careful with this because, like for instance, we're going to go back with some red, and um, when we do that, here's a little turquoise color. We're going to go back with some red, and um, red doesn't do well with wet green. Why is that, Ginger? Because uh, it's a complement of green. Uh, red and green are complements, so that when you... Um, and you know that how? Because the co opposite on the color wheel. If you have a color wheel, which I've got well, one Well, doesn't every here, artist have a color this wheel? Is, I don't know. You know, they're cheap. You should have one. You don't have to memorize it. Just look. You know, you know, red's opposite green, yellow's opposite purple, that, all that stuff, right? And then you, those colors, um, you know, you need to dry between those colors. People always say, how come your uh, How come picture, yours don't look muted? How come you, you don't have muddy. A, a, a muddy picture? And we don't have a muddy picture because we're drying between the complements. Okay? Constantly drying. You know, I mean, con yeah, that's right. We're constantly, I think that that's it. We're constantly drying all the time. One video we just shot, she drew, dried every 30 seconds. 
What were you painting it? Oh, that was a, the that face. That was the, the, the wave and water, wasn't it? No, it was that face you did on... Oh, yeah, this one. Well, this is a new oh, lesson man, that's that coming was... up in our academy. Again, another one of these old dead artists, but I love this. I'm a bookworm. I love books. I listen to a lot of audio books. The books, books are my theme in my house. This is a oh, lady a reading a book. And that will be a lesson released uh, sometime between now and the end of the year. It's been sometime filmed soon. in our Art Academy. Academy no, just, of Fine hold Art. just for a second. Let me zoom in on this face for you guys. We spent, I'm going to say, at least a half hour or more on the face. And this face has got so many colors in it and so many layers. Look at this. Look at that. Look at all the colors in there. Okay. Right. So and this was and then again. This was a painting done in the late 1800s. It's a great painting. Great painting. So anyway, thank you. So um, I'm just looking to see what else I can do here that I can still still paint in. See, it, it doesn't. You know, it's kind of cute when you paint this in. It's it, it's sort of fun here. We're going to do orange now, uh, yellow and uh, uh, and cad red medium or even magenta will make a very nice orange. Though there is a color you can buy. I'm out of it. I haven't had any in a long time. And I really liked it. It was called Cad Orange Light or something. And it was a brighter orange than I could mix. Slightly brighter. And, you know, sometimes you want that. Here's some new, some new yellow. Here we go. Some nice bright. And we want a little white in that orange. We want it more um, tangerine color. Oh, Becky's in the house. Hi, Becky. I remember when you could hear Ginger on the videos and see her hands only. John was on the phone in her ear. I remember thinking, I wonder what she looks like. That's been a while back. And we're gonna, we've got some of those videos back again. Sometimes <laughs> when we're shooting, we get in, in the mood to shoot something, right? I get in the mood to shoot something, and I just don't feel like getting all dolled up. So we're just... We <laughs> yeah, some of those, we're bringing, that, we're bringing that kind of back, but we're together. Though. Yeah, well, we're together talking, but, you know, I'm just going, that's it. You know, I don't need to be on the camera. We're just going to get a lesson shot here. Here, Here's a little yellow. yellow. And speaking of that, we did some, some different stuff on this, these last two videos. So Academy members, give us feedback under the video. You know, you guys can make comments right there just like you can in Facebook. On what you think, how we're doing, so we know what to do. Hey, this came in from a Wendy Mullen. Hi, Ginger John. I am a new Academy member and am amazed at the quality of your lessons. They are marvelous. Thank you so very much. Question. Is there any area in the acrylic painting that you struggle with? <laughs> Let well, me think. Let me think. Um, and me personally? Yeah, it has to be you. Um... There is a type of art that's d that they did hundreds of years ago where they did this type of really tight tree. Oh. And it's just not, you know, I'm a more loose <laughs> painter, so when you get really tight like that, I just don't have the patience for it. There um, in is fact, no even in, even in, this, in this gal's drawers at all. Um, so even in this, um, here's a little red, red here. I think this is dry now. Oh, she's going to go for it. A little red. Red is one of those colors that you need to do two coats anyway, but or do a coat of white. But we've got a little red scarf under this person, and there was a little red here like that. So it's sort of coming. And again, I think if you put a few mustaches on here, you could make a guy. <laughs> wouldn't have to be a. They don't all have to be women. I just thought they were sort of fun as women, but they certainly wouldn't have to be women. Let's just give this a quick dry here. So wait. I'll a take a Kleenex break and a quick dry. How's that? <sighs> Go. Okay. Um, the way. Okay. I'll try to remember to unmute her after this one. Um, Charlie was. Oh, yeah. Charlie's my son. You can see his name for you, Academy members, on some of the posts because he is helping me update the lessons because we're getting so far behind on the shooting and everything. So my boy is being put on staff and Sammy's going to be his boss. We'll see how that works. Charlie is a real person. <laughs> Thank you, Judy. Yeah, he's a real kid. He's still up in Michigan. Okay. So, Ready oh, back? another question. Have you ever used the Indian yellow? 
Yeah, I really like that color too. It's a nice Don't color. Don't you know how to make it though? Didn't Daniel gave you a way to make yeah, it? Yeah, really there's cool. a way to make it on one of the Daniel shows. I don't, you know, you can, I can mix so many colors that I don't, but I like I like that color, Indian yellow. I'm gonna just uh, give another coat on this. Look at here. See, we dried it, and here's another coat of orange already, because we're going over something dark. So this is the what you're gonna have to do is kind of do two, plan on doing a couple coats. Now this of is color. a heavy body professional paint. If you're doing a student grade paint, you're gonna do a lot more coats. Yeah, you want to plan on doing a couple coats of um, uh, color on these guys, you know, and. Uh, here, I'm going to lighten up the little bit of the face here. Um, Goldie says, wouldn't everything have to be redone if it was a men? If it was men? I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh -uh. No, I think you, you could just... You throw a mustache, a beard in there, good to go. And you'd be good to go. Because, I mean, there's, you know, you're not... You, yeah, no, you could get away with that a lot. All right, so let's... Um, the girls look feminine. The, the clothes look feminine. Well, Maybe you want to go to Browns or something. I but don't know. That wouldn't be as fun. So I, I'm, I'm not redesigning it. I'm just saying you could. <laughs> I'm, I'm curious to see what you do. Right? Okay, Goldie, let's do, let's do this. You do one for the males. Let's see how it looks. All right, so here we go. I'm going to come out here now with a little bit of white now and just come out here and come back around here, her collar, I'm just around her head here. I like that idea. Here's her little fur collar. And um, she had a little fur pom-pom here. And um, there's some little fur coming around the head like this. You notice I'm always flattening out the brush before. I, you know, I'll put paint on the brush and then I flatten it out. I don't know if you guys are not doing that, but that's a good practice. See how I can use the angle brush and make a little fur here? Just using the edge of it when you have a nice new brush like that. I mean, people just, you know, look at that. You can really get that so I mean you can you can see where that kind of would come up here's a little bit of more purple here I just guess this hat was purple a little bit of white with it and flatten that out we just had a donation come in from the PayPal system from Jacqueline thank you very much Jacqueline thank you thank you very much that we is do lovely appreciate that um, very much all right so let's make sure we've got this well, you know, now we're going to start putting, this is our second layer, so we can leave something kind of dark like that. And uh, I, I, I love purple. Purple is one of my favorite colors. Here's a little bit of a white pom-pom <laughs> here on the purple. Oh, Goldie, you're funny. There we go. There we go. There, there we go. Here, all the way around here, this little purple. And then as long as we're doing white, here's the white for the, for the book, like the pages on the book. And then, um, uh, let's see, I guess we could um, do a little bit of, we need a little pom-pom back here. Let's do a little pink one. You're right, the colors are very... Um, girly. Girly, but they're I mean... They're girly colors. They're girly colors, no question about it. They're girly colors, and I want a little bit of pinker face here for you. And what else do we got? Um, it's coming there, okay. I mean, this, this is sort of fun. I mean, it's just really, I think this is fun. And um, you could do a lot with Posca pens on this, too. If you were having trouble getting the close-up areas, you could use your colored Posca pens and probably do very well with this. Uh, now, let's, now, again, we, we're starting to lighten things up a bit. Here's the, oops, that's not light enough. I'll stir that around. Oh, I like that. Judy suggests we do a sled with Ellie Chester and Sammy in it. Oh, yeah, that'd be cute. I'm still waiting for my tractor. Good luck with that. <laughs> Did you? Hey, you moved your palette. Could you please slide it back where it belongs? With this palette? Yes. I didn't. I didn't touch it. <laughs> I did not touch it. I promise you, I've not moved. I moved. Maybe move this over, but I haven't touched the palette. I don't know where you want your palette, but I have. You saw me. You saw me. I did not move <laughs> it. We're gonna have to do a replay. I, I did not move the palette. What are you talking about? Oh, well, please. Something's going on. Did you move the table? I, I, nothing's been moved. Well, something's going on here. It's your camera. It's just your camera. Your toys around here. 
It's it's your camera. I moved nothing. Oh, hours, you can barely just... move. You can barely move it. Why on earth? What, what makes you think I could just touch it? Look at that. He spent like ten minutes trying to get it to I do that anything. Wasn't, that was not ten minutes. Goodness gracious! Two seconds. Two ten seconds. Ten minutes. Just you know the how you move the ballot. You move the ballot. The sky is falling. That's not why they call you little. <laughs> <laughs> you want to do it tonight? Keep it up. <laughs> the sky here comes. The sky is falling little. <laughs> it's called chicken little. You move the pallet. Okay. So far, so good, John. Okay, let's let's take the the, the flesh color and let's do some ha let's do some mittens here. I like that. Kind of come around here like this. Going to do mittens on both sides of this. Okay, and I want to just I want to do something a little bit more on the sled here. That was the first layer on the sled. Want a little bit oranger than that. There we go. Here's our sled. I'm going to bring it down around. You've got to have this light enough where it shows up. Does that make sense? So, um, again, I'm going to start brightening things up a bit. You can mix colors right on. You know, if you put a color somewhere you don't like, and you know how to make it lighter or darker, you can mix right on the canvas. But again, look here. Here's the second layer of uh, third layer on these pants of of these pants to brighten them up here back up here with the tassel and uh, here like that okay so I'm still working on that and then here's a little bit of red back up here on this hat again red is one of those colors that needs a pile of needs a lot of different coats and the same thing under here a little bit of red scarf and we'll do a see do we have any other red somewhere just just right here Oh yeah, we had a little bit of red trim on the cuffs here. Okay, now I put out a little Payne's gray. This would be, you could use black, but here's the bottom of the shoes. We're just keeping these real simple. And then we'll take a little purple with that and do the rest of the shoes in sort of a blue purple with a little dark in it saying here's the this part of the shoe right here like that there's his, her boots you don't really see too much of this but we figured you'd put it in in the same back here like this <laughs> there's this one all right michelle caught you on this one what question why is there only four people i thought it was supposed to be in odd numbers Normally, you know, normally we pretty good. I couldn't fit any more on the sled. <laughs> and typically, it is four people on a bobsled. I don't know why. When we went bobsledding, it was always four. It was either two or four. Well, there you go. See, that's probably why. When I was looking for reference photos, this is all I could come up with. I mean, I used a reference photo. I no. can't give this to print and don't know how. Well... You, just, you can use the contact us on our website, gingercooklive.gallery, and I'll need to know what kind of device you're trying to print it from, and to what kind of printer are you going to? Are you, are, you, are you trying to do it from your phone or a computer or what? A lot of variables. Mm -hmm. And you have a printer. That would be the first thing. You need a printer. What kind of printer do you have? Um, you know, those are all good questions. What kind of printer? Um, you know, sometimes my printer will just not print for me. Prints for John. I just go down and touch it. And it doesn't print for me. And it just, <laughs> and I'm saying, but the printer doesn't print. And he goes down and glares at it and it prints. Do you ever have that experience? You asked for help? I'm so glad that John is into, you know, it, that, that John is in my life. I can't tell you how grateful I am for that because the other, only other, other computer techie person we had in the family was Cinnamon's John. And um, I always, they were always so busy. Well, they lived far away and it was always too busy to, um, to, 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 you know, to ask for help. I just always felt a little bad asking for any kind of help from them. Not that they wouldn't give it to me. Of course they would. In fact, one time, at one point, Cinnamon and I had um, Cinnamon and I had bought um, this Chaclay machine, and um, and my dad had passed away. Instead of buying a new car, and that's about how much these things were back then, just like 20 years ago, we bought. I bought this Chaclay machine, 
to make prints, my artwork. And um, it required a lot of more computer savvy than I had at the time, and even Cinnamon had. And um, I eventually hired a studio assistant to make it work. This is again next coat of yellow. Okay, just that's funny how much paint you need to make this stuff work. Anyway, the upshot of it was is that uh, we we couldn't get it to work, and it wouldn't work, and it wouldn't work. And then we'd call John, and he'd be busy because he had a business at that time, and we'd bring him back over from what he was doing at work, make him come to the house, and he did that, and he did that, and uh, so then he would call tech support there and. Um, I think it was uh, Atlanta. He was calling Atlanta for tech support, all right? And uh, I feel a little bit of white around these shoes. And um, the guy was really mad at uh, John. Just, I can't believe you're calling me and bothering me with all this stuff, you know? I mean, you bother me all the time. And John says, for every call you've gotten, I've gotten 20. <laughs> Just remember that. And he said, right now what the girls have is a very expensive paperweight, and you are going to help me solve this. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was so clever. And he was willing to help us, but he was even John was getting frustrated to make it go. I think we need some fur cuffs around here like this. Well, Donna says she's at Copyworks trying to print it. I'm not familiar with Copyworks. Mike's thought is make sure you've downloaded the image to your phone because she's going from her phone and then go from there she said copy works well yeah. the trick is you get um, one of those cute little kids to help you at copy works tell them yeah. it's your picture though that they won't print somebody else's tell them it's yours lie tell them it's your picture for heaven's sake don't tell them it's mine or they won't help you <laughs> um you know, or, or bring something else out, like your driver's license, and pretend like you want to paint that 8 by 10 have them show you how the machines work, and then do yours. You know what I mean? They're very funny about the help you get, but usually those kids will help. Um, we want a little snow up here. I think I'm all out of white. I think that's what's happened. How is um, that even possible? I give up. How is it possible? So anyway. It's coming um, along nicely. Yeah, it's cute. I mean, you see, it takes a little while to paint it in, but it's not bad. I mean, we're just chatting here, having a fun conversation, kind of kidding back and forth. But um, uh, mostly we're kidding. Aren't we kidding, John? And, uh, yeah. yeah, so here I want a little bit lighter. Maybe there's a, like a little snow on top of the sled like that, and I'll just pull it down. I'll make sure that we've got the book here. And then, again, the white, you know, here we go with the with the white. Uh, make sure that we've got some white around the collar. Oh, do you remember that the old commercials ring around the collar? Oh, was, yeah. It's got ring around the collar. Who? Yeah, the husband came home from work with a ring around his collar. Yeah. Oh, that was terrible. Well, that's yeah. back when everybody wore white shirts. Well, and not only that, but now it's now your T-shirt is stretched out. Now, <laughs> now it's not dress shirts anymore. Did your T-shirt. And then I thought, oh, they do that? Oh, yeah, I guess so, huh? You're right, oh. they won't help. Thanks for advice from Don. What do you mean they won't help? I'm not familiar with them, so I'm sorry I can't really help you with that one. I don't know who they are. These people, honestly, why won't they help you? <laughs> who knows? I'm going to do a little black tuft on, a little darker tuft on her hat right there. We haven't done the faces yet, but we're kind of getting there, right? Make sure that we're, that we're light enough. And um, Question, just, why is the front gal reading while tobogganing? She's singing. There's, this is a choir. This is a singing choir. This is a choir. I don't know why she's doing it while they're tobogganing, because she can't remember the words. She's the dumb one in the front, right? <laughs> <laughs> can't remember the words. Everybody else seems to know the words, but she's she's got her cheat sheet. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, just if you don't want to read, leave the book off. Leave the book off, but then you know. Then what are you going to put there? Her dog. Yeah. You See, put, now you Nancy put her cat somebody there. suggested that if you add one more, if you add a dog, that'd be five. Yeah, you could put a dog there, kind of peeking out over instead of the book, right? I mean, you know, it's, like, it's your it's your painting. I just put a book there. Because um, she's a book person. Remember, we had that conversation earlier. Rewind the video if you need to see that section again. <laughs> You're so funny, John. Well, it's true. We did have it earlier. We did. So, Ginger, I understand you're going to be doing a new segment on your channel. 
Yeah, we're going to do a new segment on our channel. We're excited to bring this to you. It was really suggested by my daughter. We, we, so I appreciate that very much. We were just, we were over there just before she left on her great trip to venture to uh, Utah, where she is this weekend. Um, the Pinterest. star of the Pinterest convention, I want to mention, not just it also ran Pinterest person, but she is the star, the featured person at the Pinterest, and she even did a TV thing. So a we TV think, interview would TV be the thing. TV interview thing, right? And she got there by the chin of her skinny chin. She, she barely got made by it. Skin of her teeth. You know, I'm telling you what, it was a, it was touch and go if they were going to make it, but they made it. So um, yeah. So then the question is, uh, where'd that little brush go? I'm going to do some. Now here's the thing: dry this really well before you put the faces on, so you can wipe it off if you don't like it. Okay. Is that, is that something you're going to do? I'm going to dry this really well right now. But um, what was the question? Uh, oh, the um, the new segment we're doing. Oh, yeah, we're doing a new segment. We get just scattered here. We're doing a new segment, thanks to Cinnamon, which is the... Um, um, what was just, the name we were giving it? Uh, it's just, I don't know, it's not Travels with Charlie. It's um, No. It's, uh, do you remember that book, John Steinbeck's Travel with Charlie? The what? John Steinbeck wrote a book years ago. It was called, anybody else remember this? called Travels with Charlie. No, I don't remember that one. And he was he had the first motorhome. He invented it, kind of. Huh. And he wrote this book about traveling around. And I, I remember reading it. And um, I told you I was a reader. And um, it was of him going around the country, living in his camper, just meeting different people, this, his adventures that time. Back when that would have been considered interesting cool. and different we are hoping this interesting and different what we're going to do kind of like that is we're john got a new little camera let's call it a gopro camera and what we're going to do is we're going to take you on our trips with us we want to travel and we want to go places and do things and we figured the only way to keep go you keep it was just to take you along and then you could come with us and so we're going to start uploading these 5 10 15 minute segments on youtube um when we leave and what we're doing, and you're gonna just we'll up we'll load we'll we'll shoot five or ten minutes and upload it when we can, and we're gonna just kind of like a diary of our travels, is um you know you're traveling artists, so you get to come along and you can see all the the good and the bad and the ugly. How's that? <laughs> That's it's that. gonna be our reality stuff. It's a reality show, right? All right, muting. All right, so we're gonna have like I said earlier, we're gonna have a special playlist for these videos to go under, so you can find them. Uh, we are looking the flamboyant traveling artist. I don't know if I like that one in particular, but uh, you know we're looking for a name. We, I thought we had something. I just don't remember what it is. Mm -hmm. But look for that it's coming soon. Yeah. All right. So oh. I want to show you something about the faces. And that's not the birds. So basically, we're going to keep this really simple, so you guys don't sweat over it. They're looking down, and this is the choir. Okay. Little O for the mouth. Because they're singing. They're singing. So everybody's got it. Pretty easy. Yeah. Let's and if, if you mouth. like this kind of thing, here's a more advanced one. This is on our academy, but it's done very similarly. You can kind of see even on these faces. I added a nose, but even on these faces, this is also called. Uh, this is our uh, a lesson we had did release. Uh, I don't know, a year or so ago, over on our academy. Kind of a. Um, abstract choir which I think is kind of cool so anyway if you like that kind of thing that's an academy lesson members if you we have so many when you have almost 400 lessons people just kind of they, they, things get uh, have a way of getting lost a little bit all right over. so we're going to use kind of purple blue I think to do this for the eyes and um, I'm going to do a little line just under here like this and then I'm going to just my little travelers Ooh, I like that Oh, well, that'd be a good name. You guys got a good name for the show? We can call That's it. What they're working on. I asked them to. Oh. How about cruise adventures? Nah. Traveling light? No, we do not travel light. <laughs> we bring the so kitchen sink literally. Travels with Sammy? Eh, Sammy doesn't always get to go. And we don't always. The people don't always know who Sammy is. Now, see that Ginger one didn't come Lord. out. So. Um, cruise along with us. Cruise along with us. Well, but sometimes we're just driving, we're not cruising. So That's true. We we're not always, always just cruise. cruising. Sometimes we're just going places. It just seems like we always are. But I know. I'm going to put my glasses on. I really can't. I, I, I'm going to suggest that. 
You can suggest what? Putting your glasses on to see this. Artistic Travels with Ginger and John. Oh, that's good. Cruising around with the crew. Okay, so there's the little eyes. Let's start with the... Artsy Adventures. Now, that's kind of nice. Artsy adventures. Well, the, but people might think we were painting every second. We're not oh, always true. painting. Traveling brushes. See, we, we, basically, we go traveling to get the new ideas. I mean, that's where our, our Adobe last one came from that people seem to love. Okay. I think this, what happened is this face isn't in here enough, well enough. So this one doesn't look right because the face is, there's not enough face. We can fix that. So let's just redo this one. We didn't get enough face here. That's what happened to this little guy. And it might have happened to you too. So here we go. Let's just do a lighter face here. You need enough contrast, right? And the Cook same a thing. little productions. What? Cook a little productions. Cook a little productions. But people think we're a cooking show then. Well, they already think we're a cooking show because they're silly last name you're using. I oh, know. The Road Little Traveled. Oh, I like that. The Road Little Traveled, right? Yeah. I'm going to take those eyes out, too. I don't like those either. Well, that's okay. Good to know. You can just paint these out if you don't like them, right? So let's just get this right, huh? We're tripping. We're tripping. Inspirations. Well, I could use that one word that I made up. I can't remember what it was. John and Ginger's Adventures. Well, that's... Tell us what it is. Well, yeah, we could do that. We could do that. And let's see, I think she had earmuffs on. I remember I tried to do that. There's the earmuffs on this lady right here, like that. She had earmuffs on. Loving Life with Ginger and John. Tripping along for inspiration. Okay. It's coming now, right? Now I'm going to dry this again because I... I want. I don't want to have to repaint it. Okay. You're gonna say that. All right. She's muted. Well, you got some good ones coming, guys. We'll figure it out. But we'll be starting that shortly. Yeah, we think this will be fun, and, and you know, I mean, it, j j we we do have some adventures. I think I'm think Cinnamon wish she could have filmed the adventure she and 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 her family had trying to get to that. Um, I'd like to have been a fly on her, you know, on the wall on that one. <laughs> Whether they're trying to get to that, to get to Utah in time to get the TV interview done. Just in the nick of time. Ginger and John's Traveling Roadshow. G and J Travels. Yeah, Golden Years with Ginger and John. Golden Years, okay. Now we're really... Inspirational Travels. Ginger and John on the go. All right, there's our choir. They're singing, right? I like oh, that. Oh, that's right? looking good now. now I can like, hear them now. And I think we lost a little of the. T t just, Are you know, you, you think that there were some. I don't have to ad lib because I've got. I sort of planned this out before. Here's the. The um. Let's just make sure we've got this. There. Okay, and then. Um, I think we're gonna we're gonna give this gal some hair. I think I didn't have any before, but pictures and palettes. Oh, that's cool. That's from Nancy. That's a nice one, Nance. Is that your sister? That would be my sister. You're gonna be one of our first. We want to interview you on the show because you know Nancy's got this great thing where she um, um trash she to takes art. she to, to trash to art, you know. And she really does do a. Um, she gets this beautiful job. Beautiful job on this. Uh, this old old furniture people throw out, and then she turns around, comes around, and fixes up and paints it, and turns around and sells it back to the neighborhood. It's cl as clever as can be. We thought when we were in Florida, we're going to go see her, and um, for sure, interview. we'll uh, we'll do a we'll do a little show on what Nancy's doing because I think that's kind of fun. All right, so this is, the again, the second coat of white, third coat of white. What is, I don't know how many coats of white we've done how, done now. But um, I think I'm in good shape here now, don't you think? I think I we're think looking, you're in excellent shape. I think we, I think we got, um, I think we did okay on this. Um, 
All right, so there's there's our peeps. Now, um, now what I want to do is take our little what? Okay. old fart sorting. Oh, <laughs> old fart sorting. <laughs> she apologized for it, but well, but you know, there's some you know the truth hurts. You know, if it if the if it fits, you must quit or something. Isn't that you know? Does Nancy ever show her stuff online on her Facebook page? I think she does, and also in our club she does. Yeah, she does, and it's really nice. All right, so I've got a little bit of white here now. And what are we going to do, the snow now? Yeah, I want a little bit of snow, kind of this sort of green. Let's put a little more turquoise in this one. And I want some, see, look, look what we're doing here. I'm just going to suggest that, um, uh, and then we're going to take a little bit of the white here and... Uh, just uh, suggest that there's a, just sort of a... She's plowing through the snow. Yeah, that there's just... You don't want to get up too far, but there. You don't even have to talk about the bottom of the sled now, right? I mean, that's kind of cool, right? And then, back to the toothbrush, which is... Did we bury the toothbrush? What did we do with the toothbrush? Mm, we drowned the toothbrush. All right, so then what we're going to do... Oh, you've got to put some little decorations on the... Um, on this on the book now you could use a uh, you could use a posca pen and write something if you wanted to okay and depending on what you put on the book and, I, and again i i didn't know what to put on the book so i just made something up what did you put on your book i just put some holly oh all right so just you can put little, a note or a singing note or you know whatever i didn't know what to put on the book so i just added holly now we're going to do the russian roulette here with the green and the red wet. Adventures in color. Jin John's traveling diary. That's kind of fun. All right, so I just kind of suggested that kind of looks like Holly, right? Yeah. Sort of suggested that would be, and then I want to put the, here's the, all right, so there's our book and, um, uh, Okay. There we go. All right. So, you guys. Um, I don't like this thing right there. So, other than that, I'm good, right? I Which just didn't like this like? top top notch. You don't like her blue one? I, I, no, I think it should be a lighter blue. Oh, well, it's okay, but it's um, it's not great. Does that make sense? I'm putting this in my painting fund list. The irony is Billy Laffy. Laugh fun laughing. All right. Um, Ginger John sounds like he's drunk. John sounds like he's drunk? Well. Okay. I'm going to need another Kleenex break. <laughs> All right. Now. We've got the last bit of the, the snow. Stress away with Ginger and John. I like that one. Escape artists. Escape artists. I, I love like that. that one. I'm loving escape artists. That's On funny. the road with the escape artists. See, Running away from home with Ginger and John. <laughs> Queen of Color shares the world. Ooh, I love that. that was Queen of Becky. Color shares the world. I like that. So, sorry. These, these little <laughs> frantic motions here I'm making. Art Adventures with Ginger and John. Yes. All right. So now, look, I've got a little Kleenex over this. And um, now I'm going to just do a little more snow. Barely touch it up here from the bottom. Right like that. There. See that? Just a little bit, just a little tiny bit. You don't want to. There. You want to cover. There you go. No. Oh, that's good. That's looking good. So look, so you've got a little bit of snow in there. You can still see them, right? How now? Okay, this is what. Well, now we're gonna dry this one last time. Okay. Okay. And um, ready? Yeah. Well, thanks for the name suggestion, guys. Um, the escape artist, I think, is uh, could be the one we use. Something along that line, and the one Nancy had of uh, photos, pictures, and palettes is kind of cute too. But 
We'll come up with something and look for that shortly as a new playlist on the Ginger Cook Live YouTube channel. Yeah. John, can we have your sister's Facebook site? I don't think she'll give it to you. It's her site. All right, I'm going to. <laughs> I mean, why should? Why would she give you her site? I think they don't just want the name of it. Are you doing sock folder things again? Hey, they asked, the, they asked the question. Nancy, if you want to put your Facebook link out there to your page so people can see your art, please do so. All right, here's some white dots now. This is like little bits of snow that are a little bigger. Oh. Okay. Not too many. Don't carry. It's not polka dots. Just a couple. Those are those big flakes. That's you know. What I mean, just a few, right? Don't get too nuts, but just a couple. We just did a couple, right? And that that's just sort of a nice little touch. And then we got to look and see what else didn't show up. Um, Misadventures of Ginger and John. I want. I'm going to go into the red here. Okay. I'm not going for that one. And I'm going to go a little bit redder. Now look what happens when I do my third coat of red. Brightens it see up. How, see what I mean? I'm telling you, you can't do enough colors of red, enough layers. Wherever you have red, I'm going to just even put a little up here, too. <laughs> there. Now, I'm just saying that that's the kind of thing. You, you can do it right out of the tube. But that's the kind of thing you want to do. And as long as we're doing that, let's get out the Posca pen. We'll sign it, and then we'll take the tape off and show it to you. And then we're going to do a drawing. Has anybody entered the drawing for the free? We didn't. We didn't. Whoa, people! We have a drawing going. Gals, put the link out there. We have a we drawing going we on for free, down, free downloadable lessons. Oh my! Where, where does the time go? I don't know. I'm going to go here. Cook. Right here in the snow. That that didn't show up very well. Let's try over here. Oh my goodness. Okay. Now, this is where if you want to take your Posca pen and add a little furry stuff or something or get a little crazy. Furry stuff. You could, right? Yes, you could. You know, if you feel like you need a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of anything, you know, that's what your little pens are for, okay? I think I spelled that so, right. So, all right, so there's that. And then here's my little red slash through the name Dashing like that with snow. a little brush. This little, uh, people have asked for a really good, uh, uh, brush for detail this is a a, a a zero art this is an art chirpa brush and it's a number let me just put my glasses on i'll tell you it's a number one round uh four one four one hundred s round um and it's a sherpa uh silver brush and it really is great for detail i really like that got to tell it's, you it's got a good stiff yeah so now what we're going to do now remember, I told you we do the big reveal with the tape. Ooh, the big reveal. You like that? Yeah, the big yeah. reveal with the tape. Ooh, look at that! It's framed. So. That is rather clever to do, isn't it? Well, if you do it, you know, this type of art can be very nice if you do a little boundary with it. Um. Hmm. So you got the link up there, guys. Enter quickly. Enter quickly because you're gonna. We're gonna give away three. Um, free downloadable lessons from GingerCookOnDemand.com. Okay, now here, here it is. Now look how you've got this nice, nice frame on your picture. Don't you think that looks kind of neat? I think it's cool. Here, here, here it is with and without. You know, before and after, right? Kind of thing, right? So. Um, like you know, and if you if wanted it, it, it could card. be any color. It could be any color. That's the thing. I just made it blue, but you could have it, you know, red or or, or um, white or um, I don't know what else color you'd use from that. Maybe purple. purple. It could be any. It could be any color. But there you've got you've got your little you know frame. So if you wanted to have a frame, and I wouldn't make it any wider than that. That's that eighth inch tape, and it's real artist tape. It's not like masking tape. It's called artist tape. And that's what you want to use. And um, uh, let's see what else was I going to show you. I had tomorrow, Monday night, we're going to be painting this. Oh, yeah. Our, our birds, you know, our cardinals in the house. That's going to be Monday. So you're going to want sort of a, a brown canvas. Okay? Yeah, you're going to try to paint along. Yeah. Good luck with we're that. We're going to freehand that in. And, but, of course, we'll have it where you can trace it on, too. But, you know, freehand it in. We'll show you how to do that. It's pretty easy. Um, and again, let's see what else it was there. 
Was there anything else we were showing? Nope. You um, showed it I all. Think, I think we kind of did it for that. But yeah. you need to show more because we just opened up the door to the contest. Well, I I'll paint we something. That. We're going to have a contest. I'll paint something with this leftover paint while we have the contest. We're giving away some free um, uh, downloadable lessons. What was the other thing that we had that we painted? Um, John, we did some other things too. What did we do yesterday besides that? So yeah. while John's doing that, I will paint. I'll do something with a palette knife. How's that? And then we'll make something out of it like we did last time. Does that sound fun? Let's do a little abstract with a palette knife. Okay. I don't remember what all we painted. We've been painting, painting so much. Let's see if I can do something on here. Well, those are my great backgrounds too. Like well, all that the colors. background's not great. I wouldn't give the word. Well, great I, I, to I knew that you couldn't use it for anything because it was all the different colors. I was trying to to do weirdness with those colors. Somebody yeah. asked if we're changing the name of our channel and what we are. No, we are just adding a new playlist for a new adventure we're going to be offering or doing. We're still going to be putting up the regular lessons and all yeah, that stuff. Yeah, the regular stuff. lessons. Everything's still going to be the same. We're just adding to it. We have so much free time that we felt that we needed to do more. Well, also, we just thought it might be fun to do when we're traveling. Oh, I think it's going to be fun. I'm just saying that, that let's see, it's just kind of fun with all the colors on the palette knife, right? Yes, it is. I don't. What was the last thing we shot last night? Was the wave and water? What did we do the night before? Oh. Uh, oh. You know, you would think that we would know what we were doing here. You put it in Trillo. You you yep. pick a picture of it and put it in Trillo. We do so much artwork now. We don't even know what we've painted. That's why it goes into the computer to remind me. I can't tell you how many lessons we've lost because we just. Oh, you the know. horsies. Oh, yeah, the, the horses. horses. The horses. Well, the Wait horses till you see tickled? this, right? See, that's why we use Trillo. Okay, um, that's why -E we use Trillo. C-R-E-L-L-O. -L -L -O. If you've never used Trillo, you might want to look at that. It's a great way to keep track of stuff. Okay, now this was just some sort of random thing I did right here, right? But now, that, that's I'm going to dry that, and I'm going to make that into something, okay? Cause that, all right? You ready for that? Um, I'm not over there. Well, we're going to have to listen she's to it. She's not muting it. It's all right. No, she's going for it. John's not muting it, but that's okay. We're just I'm <laughs> I gonna, wasn't we're there. waiting for you to enter the contest to win the something. And if this turns out, I'll let someone win this too. How's that? If this turns out, y'all can win this too. Y'all. Y'all can win that too. You like that? Y'all can win that too. Y'all can win that. Um all right. How about this? This is a new uh, painting that's going up in our vi vi video lesson library nine by twelve. It's called the Three Amigos. Three Amigos. And uh that was a fun little lesson. I did. think this is absolutely f great, and we're going to be um, uh, doing that. We actually have, is this the version, second version? This was the brighter version, right? Well, I don't know, remember Yeah, I think which. this is the, the last version I did here, right here. This is the final. This is what I started with, and this oh, is yeah, my final. Oh, yeah, you brighten the colors. Brighten the colors. Yeah, the colors are better on the second th one. Th three Amigos. So that's a lesson coming. It's been already filmed. That will be released between now and the end of the year. Time to become a member of our Art Academy. Okay. So, um, all right, we're going to have fun with this, right? Everybody's yes and yes. We're going to have, have fun. You have an idea of what you're going to do with that? Yeah, absolutely. And okay. You guys don't, but I'm, I do, right? Well, yeah, there's a couple of comments come through, but. Well, what do people think it should be? Let's just hear it. I know what I'm going to do with it, but what well, do they think? One says it looks like a face opening its mouth. Okay. Oh, everybody, says, everybody else was talking about the horses. They like the horses. Do you like the horses? Oh, I'm so glad. I hope you guys like this, like the uh, cards, you know, how you can, you know, the, the, the carolers, right? I like the carolers. Well, I that think it's good. neat that I, you know, made them middle-aged women, too. <laughs> That's great. All right. So now, yeah, so you guys, uh, let's see, where's my purple? Uh, the Trillo is both an app and it's on the website. So no matter what kind of device you have, you can get to your Trillo documents. Yeah, it's free. And it does help you well, stay no, organized. It, it, it is free unless you want to do more things, which we do more things. So we, we pay for a yearly subscription to it. Yeah, we do. Okay. We use it. Yeah, we do. We pay for a yearly subscription to Trello, and we use it. We like it. It's been a lifesaver several times, as you can see right now, because we couldn't remember what we did. Yeah, and I mean, I just got through painting that a couple days ago, and it's not like we're having a lot of scenery moments. I just, we're, we just get swamped, and who can remember, right? Yeah, we've been doing like two, two paintings a day. 
Blurry so, Angel from Behind Waterfalls. Oh, this is this is fun, right? Because you don't know, right? But you have an idea. Oh, absolutely. I'm going for it. Absolutely. Let's see. I need white. How do you spell Trillo? Just like you did. T-R-E-L-L-O. Trillo.com. Okay. Now. A harlequin, a waterfall, an animal, angel with yellow hair. Oh, good. I love it. Don't you? Fingers crossed. Looks like Grandfather Christmas. Okay, break <laughs> here. Moving on. Santa's boot. It looks like me before my AM coffee. <laughs> oh, now I'm really, now I'm really stumped. I got no idea. Okay, people, how are we doing on the entries? Remember, the entry is being posted once in a while in the feed there. This is for our live audience. We are also going to have it on the screen. Oh, I wonder why that went that way. Mm -hmm. I wonder why you get kicked out so many times. What's that? What are you talking about? Google kick, logs me off periodically through the day. Does it? Well, when it feels like it. I mean, it feels like it. When I go to a lot of the different accounts, so I bounce between you, Sammy, and myself. Then he gets he gets confused, like, who are you really now? So it kicks me out of everything instead of sign in again. Really? Well, you don't sign in more than one account. One is the name of the app, Trello, T-R-E-T-R-E-L-L-O. -L -L Just go to your favorite app store. Or even if you go to Trillo's website, they will have the link to the app there. Do monthly Academy members need to renew after a year, or is it continuous as long as it's paid up? It is paid monthly until you tell us no more. And, but the wonderful thing is, here's the thing, you grandfather your price in. If you never drop out, people that have signed up four years ago are paying like next to nothing. It's practically free for them because we don't raise the prices. They only get, the prices only get raised once a year, and that's when... Um, and so if you dropped out and came back, then you would be at the current price. But if you always stay, you're, you're grandfathered into that price, and you still have your spot as a personal, you know, any yeah, personal, art coaching. personal art coaching. You, that, that's the other thing that you get, too. And there will be a, a modest increase this year. Well, everything goes up for us, right? Yeah. I mean, everything everything is going up for us, too. So that's the that's the weird part of it you know we get uh you you know that every time you, you, it's not free to put up 400 videos somewhere in the cloud and run them with as many megabytes as the stuff we got that's a very expensive proposition that we do most people you know you know would have no idea how you know how much that would you know what that takes to do that um uh, just saying right they just just wouldn't have any idea about that right so i'm still thinking about this but um Oh, you're doing a fine job. You think so? I mean, Absolutely. you can get it's kind of coming into something. I don't know what, but it's kind yeah. of coming into something. I don't know what it is, but I'm having fun with this, right? Oh, Kathy made a good comment, or somebody did. The yeah, Kathy, annuals do not automatically renew. Annual memberships have to be done manually. You have to say you just let us know that you want to sign up again, and I send out an invoice because your price may be different than current price, so you don't want it to lapse. Just let us know. 
I don't know here. This is where imagination plays, plays in a sort of fun. Imagination going crazy. Imagination going crazy. I don't know what I'm painting here, but I'm having fun with it. Uh, Nell's asking, am I getting logged out because you're going to have one login on YouTube? You can have more than one login on YouTube. They have what's called switch account in YouTube. But, again, I'm using three accounts, and I don't think it likes to do three. I know it can do two nicely, but three, sometimes it just says, nah, I don't know who you are. So, not a big deal. Just log back in. Okay. I mean, you know, not a big deal, right? Do you ever have to take down old videos to make way for new ones? No, we only take down old ones if we want to redo them or... The, the, you know, the technology, we've, you can't, you know, the technology has changed so much. And, you know, since, if you go look at some of our first videos, they are just hilarious to look at compared to what we're producing now. Yeah. So, yeah that, absolutely. And some of those will disappear and we'll put up replacements for them. But the Academy, we haven't taken anything off of that yet. Well, we took down two because they were silly and nobody was doing them. But that doesn't free up enough space for what we're producing now. No, not, no nowhere near enough, right? Yeah. No, just to what we're producing now. So we, we have to go to big, bigger, better websites to be able to host what we do. And you keep um, getting more accounts for that. And uh, so, you know, this is not, you know, I mean, it just... Would Ginger be making any more Christmas paintings? Um, Just the uh, two that we've got queued up. Yeah, pretty much. We got the, this one, the red wagon, and then the Cardinals will be done on sun, on Monday. And then remember, though, I did some great ones last year. Do you guys remember that? I did, yeah, did you some have a really, winter playlist? Really, really fun ones last year, I thought. Uh, that, I think it's under holiday playlist, and I've got we did some beautiful ones. You have that one of the farm and everything with, and on YouTube. Really, really some really good ones. I thought, right? I mean, I really thought they were good anyway. Just Everybody else did too. They were good. A boot of flowers. I guess. It's a boot of... I guess it's something. I guess I'm not really drawing in between, but here we go. Just... You're doing the oil painting technique. Just... Wet on wet and hoping for the best. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. As long well, as you don't blend it, you know, you'll smush it around, you'll be all right. Yep. It's looking all right. You're getting away with it. That's really nice. Well, I don't know about nice, but it's, you know, I mean, this is what I, you know, this is what I sort of saw. Does that make sense? It does. When you're saying, what did you see in the, you know, just like an ink blot test, what do you see? So, um,. What about a 2018 snow globe? Do we not do a snow globe this year? Oh, you're right. We have to do one. We have mm, not done a drat. 2018 snow globe. <laughs> oh, we forgot. And I thought we were done shooting. But we have. You're right. We absolutely have to have the, one of those, right? That go with our snow globe section, right? Mm. Yeah. So let's see. What do we got here? I'm just sort of playing here. Okay, we have 235 entries. We have 350 people watching, so apparently 120 of them aren't interested in this lovely... Oh, I don't know why anybody would want this one either, John. This is crazy. But but we are going to give away free downloadable lessons, and some poor fool's going to get this too. <laughs> some poor fool. Well, okay. get this, this you're really too. selling it there, babe. You know what I'm saying? I, I, you're really I'm sorry, convincing I'm just, people in I, on I've this I've got to pull this out, but so far I haven't done it yet. But I, I'm, I'm working on it. I'm, I'm working it's still, on it. It's not done yet. Hang in there. I'm working on it. You know what I mean? What can I do to make this kind of yeah, work? Yeah, we'll do a 2018 snow globe. People are wanting that. Yeah, we have to do that, right? I can't believe. Here it is. We totally forgot. Um, we have some other great lessons, though. We do. Um, can you put the carolers in the snow globe? Hmm. Um, not, no. Not these. Be too no. Small. no. That would be a too, real challenge. No, we really couldn't do. Because snow really, globes are what, 8 by 10? Yeah, we really yeah, couldn't do that. Hands. So, 
So, that, we'll have to think on that one. Well, I think you're doing good. I think it's getting there. Um, I think the, th the background is what kind of got me stumped. It's so dark. Um, <laughs> Still a little late now. Well, I know. I mean, it probably was not the background to pick for this, right? Um, that would be a Posca pin in action. It would be. Okay. I'm going to just dry this one more time. Let's give it prayer of getting this okay <laughs> okay go all right guys still time to enter this giveaway three downloadable three three people will win a downloadable lesson and some lucky viewer is going to walk home with this lovely painting i think it's kind of cool looking now i think you're pulling it out you think I'm pulling it out? John, when will you make an Academy painting of the Goldfish Pond? Oh, that one. Oh, we got to do that. The, probably, the Goldfish Pond? Uh, you know, the one we did with the with the five, ten minute one? It, it needed to be. We absolutely needed that. We, we did need it's that. It's on our list. It's, it's totally on our list. It's absolutely on our list. <laughs> Just sure. Sure, it's on our list. I better put that in a trillo. Yeah, it's definitely on our list. I have to find the, um, you did a six by eight on that, right? Yeah. I love this painting, gorgeous, I like it. I'm gonna make sure you enter. It could be yours, hanging on your wall. Um, it, it could be. Um, you really, really? It just, cause I'm just going, hmm. Yeah, it's a winner, winner, and chicken dinner. Love this little bit, 10 minute painting. I was in the shower, no glasses, looked squinting, and thought it was a stocking. Stocking. Now I see a boot. When's the trolley car being released? Ooh, Eric. Soon. Oh, the trolley car. Show that. Let's show that. That's up there. If the boss would quit shooting so much, I could uh, get these edited and. The Put trolley cars an Academy release. Well, look at look at that. <laughs> okay, you where? wouldn't. Uh, I mean, for just a little squiggle, you wouldn't. A little think what? This was a little squiggle, but it's oh, just. Squiggle. Um, um, that was not the word I heard. Oh, I remember. You gotta show the doggy again too. That's a great one. Oh, show the doggy one to, for sure. As I continue looking for the, I saw it over there on the other side. You saw what? Yeah, light. that's. Um, no, I know where the dog is. I'm trying to find the. Um, yeah, that I saw it. Just, just saw it over there. It's still over there. <laughs> I saw it over there on the table with all that stuff. I did. Um, did you find the winter one or the spring one? I, uh, the, there it the, is. Yeah, here it is. I mean, I saw it over there this morning. Um, I did. I remember, it, I, I can clearly remember seeing it. I don't know what kind of pom-poms these flowers are, why they'd be here, but... Jewel wants to know if you can put her initials on the boot if she wins. Absolutely. Absolutely. If you, anybody <laughs> wants their initials on the boot, I will put them on there. You betcha. This looks uh, a little bit more like an apple than a, than an ornament. Ginger, you can make anything look amazing, see? That's a beautiful painting. See, people love this. So, um, you know. Okay. So, um, I think that's probably all I can think of to do with this. Uh, well, let's see what we got. You know, what do you think? I think you got a winner. 
Just do you think so? Yeah. Just, just kind of a little bit, you know. A fun little painting. Well, I mean, what do you make out of a squiggle kind of thing? That's the fun part of it, right? What do you make out yeah, of a squiggle? What do you make out of a squiggle? All um, right, people. The contest is coming to a close. So last call for entry. So she goes over and shows us some more fine artwork. I'm going to take off the... Gals, if you could put the link up a couple more times, it would be great because I'm removing it from the screen. So again, nice and our moderators here. are allowed to enter, too, by the way. Some, some, some channels don't... Uh, you know, we, we think that's fine. They, they, they do this for free. they gotta, they got to be able to play, too, you know? Well, I don't see why they wouldn't be able to. So anyway, here's the toothbrush. So we got to see the toothbrush again. Funny little boot. Um, That's a great little boot. Uh, give it the boot. Yeah, give it the boot. Give it the boot. I don't know why these look more like apples than 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 ornaments. Maybe it's not round enough right there. <laughs> there, it just it was just too apple shaped. There you go. There we go. Just it just needed to be rounder, but that's. That's okay. Now, now it looks like an ornament. And then, of course, we could have. We could. You could put the names of people in the ornaments too, right? You could have it on the boot or in the ornament, which is kind of a cool thing to do, right? Here's the shadow here, like that. Then the little light on it. There you go. All right, I will sign it and just um, hope everybody had fun with this one, you know. Oh, I certainly did. Because nobody knew what it was, was for a while. Anyway. Nope, you had, you had the panel stumped. You know, one lady got it, I think, when, when you guys got it. So anyway, uh, so we'll be continuing to put up stuff on YouTube all through the holidays, even when we're traveling, but we're also going to put up our travel section, and that should be fun, right? Yep. All right, we done? Yeah, we're done. We're done. You sure? Sure. Why wouldn't we be done? Why, why, well, why? because it's you. Because it's me. All right, I will stop. I will just take this off of the purple now. I think the purple doesn't add to that. Take the purple paint away. and There we go. Mute me one more time for my Kleenex. Mm. All right, so we've got our entries. Let me bring this hot beverage over to the Queen of Color. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Let me put these side by side just so we have them there, please, so I can. Ugh. So we know we did. <laughs> Good thing I didn't make it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, it, hey, it's the thought. Okay, let's go with the thought. We're going with the thought. We're going with the thought. All right, here we go. All right, I'm we're going to go for person. the downloadable lessons first. Um, yeah, yeah, let's do that first. Let's reverse the order. From the well, we'll do the painting last. Okay. Yeah, painting's going to so be last. The last, so. the last for the first first person that's won a downloadable lesson is. Oh, man, we got up to 259. Okay. Why well, he's drawing for that, somebody asked what the streetcar was. This is the streetcar that will be on our, uh, this will be a, a release on our, on our Academy website, uh, the little trolley car. Hold okay. it up and to the right, and to go to the right. Is that other your right? right? Other right. Yeah, go to my right, not your right. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same right, but okay. Yeah. That's that one, and then I'm really excited about this. Look at this one. These are all lessons in the academy this year. I, I hope everybody just understand. Look at that nine by twelve. This is a Paris in eight, the eight, late eighteen hundreds. We'll talk about the old dead guy Hassan that originally painted this. And uh, I mean, I love this one, don't you? That's one of our lessons in I the art academy. Cool and probably my favorite picture. The one of that the, we've done recently. We, that we've done recently. We just done we, these. We, these pull these those are, out of the way. Get those out of the way. My favorite the drum one. Roll. Favorite one is this one. Trouble. Called trouble. We call them and trouble. again, this was an old dead artist, and I found this, in, uh, and I've got a tutorial on this. Isn't it awesome? 
And again, great reasons to join the Art Academy, and you know, these are super fun paintings to do. And challenging. And challenging, but fun. All right, could you put the bobsled gals uh, back there? Yeah, next here we go. Thank Here's our much. bobsled. All right. And um, this was our lesson for the night. Alexa. Alexa. Oh, you're not there. Echo. Pick a number between 1 and 259. Please try a little later. Yeah. Well. I'm going to do it. No. Your random number between 1 and 259 is 106. Echo can do that. I have three devices in here. One of them is bound to talk to me. So you say. Well, they are. All right. So this is a winner of a downloadable lesson from gingercookondemand.com. It's, it's a one credit. Um, but that could be uh, it's one credit, but that could be any of the... Um, the, Any the, of the, the one credit lessons. The, how about the village? That includes the village pieces, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Okay. I thought the silver was nice, Oops. but it's not going to show up. counts. Okay, sorry. Putting it away. Now, all right, so congratulations. Who was that? Who won? I, I'm typing. He's typing it. Can you tell, say it and type it? Can you talk and type at the same time? <laughs> Come out at different times. Joanna no. Dawson. Joanna Dawson. All right. Congratulations. What we love about giving the downloadable lessons is no matter where around the world, if you've got internet, you can get them immediately. And you'll just uh, find the lesson you want and then use the contact us on the website and tell us which one and we will send you the code for it. There will be a free code for that lesson. Okay. Echo. Pick a number between 1 and 259. Your random number between 1 and 259 is 9. And somebody says they don't go to low numbers. 9. Wow, 9. That's pretty low. That's pretty low. Second winner is... And every... Yeah, because second winner is... Yep. Yeah. Is... Lori Riley. Lori Riley. Oh, congratulations, Lori. That's awesome. So, um, you're going to go you to Ginger Cook on Demand and pick out the one credit lesson that you would think you'd love to have. Um, again, the whole Winter Village series is in that group, isn't it? Isn't that really nice? Okay. Echo. Pick a number between 1 and 259. Your random number between 1 and 259 is 188. All the way back to the other end. And I have another winner. John's uh, typing it out here. Well, Wait. because they always complain that they, I, they hear it before they see it. So I'm trying to get them closer. Okay. So, um... I'm just using cleaning my hands with these tub of towels, and uh, the, whoever wins the painting is going to get a couple packages of tub and towel samples with that too. And again, these guys were really nice to send me this. They don't pay us anything to say anything like that. They don't, but I appreciate the fact that I like them so much. If they did nothing, I'd still tell you about them. But I love the fact they sent us samples, and um, I just use these all over the house. But they're my favorite thing for cleaning up art mess and getting it off my hands and not leaving my hands feeling terrible. So this is why I mention them. And, um, Can I actually, tell you, hey, excuse me. What? We have one more winner. They're sitting there on the edge of their seats. Sorry, who is it? Patricia Carol Lowe won the downloadable lesson. Congratulations, Patricia Carol Lowe. Congratulations for winning that. All right. So our la oh. last, last drawing is for the... Um, it's for the boot painting, the Christmas boot, or the holiday boot, or the giving us the boot. We're going to give somebody the boot. We're giving you the boot. Going to give you the boot. Echo, pick a number between 1 and 259. Your random number between 1 and 259 is 28. Man, she goes from one side to the other side. 28, wow, who's 28? Who was 28? I know who it is. What would you like to share? Nope. Nope. 
Not you know what would have been cute in this if you guys decide to paint it was like a little gingerbread man. Maybe some candy canes would have been cute in here too. Just saying. Just thinking about that now. Some candy canes, a little gingerbread man. Would have Judy been cute Blaise. In there. Judy Blaze. All right. B L A I S E. Would you say Blaze? B L I S E. Judy Blaze. B L A I S E. B L A I S E. Judy Blaze. So you've won the. Um, the, the painting. painting and the two tub of towels. And like I say, if and anybody thinks... if you'd like to have your initials put on it or any customization, tell say us so now. now. Otherwise, we're going to seal the deal. If you want your initials or something put on either a, 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 an ornament, an ornament or, or a, a boot, just tell us and we'll put it on there now. Well, we thank everybody for joining us today on this lovely Saturday afternoon. We hope you had fun. We will be live next Monday, 7.30 p.m. And we'll do more fun things. And we're going to be painting the um, the bird. We're going to be painting um, the birdhouse with the cardinals. That's uh, next week. This, next this, month, next, next Monday. Next Monday night. Which is next week. You're absolutely right. And uh, this should be really fun. So uh, everybody have a great uh um, weekend and we look forward to seeing your paintings and expect to, you know expect the um, release of the ice skates for our academy members coming up as soon as John can do it it's all filmed ready to be released yeah I just have to get it on the website so it's good okay yes I would love to have my initials put on the boot B and uh, wait yep. J W B you better write that down J J W B J W B yep Ooh, maybe we should put them in silver. Ooh. Because I have that silver pen, Posca pen. What they do with that? Zoomer. Let's zoom in on this action. Okay. Where are you going to put them? Have you thought about it? I think up here, don't that's you think so? That's what I was thinking. If I had initials on a boot, that's probably where they'd be. All right, mute me one more time for the Kleenex. You get Yeah. And we're back. Now the trick with Posca pens, if you've, I mean, you've never bought these, we have a, we've got, if you want to know the products we really like that we get on Amazon, go to um, our Pinterest page, Ginger Cook Live, and look under products we like, and you'll see there's a link to these pens too. Now the trick is if you're opening a brand new one, burp it. This okay, isn't brand new, but burp it. it. And, you know, really do test it on something before you're, you know, Make sure it's drying. Make sure it's working. So JWB, right? JWB. Oh, beautiful. Excellent. Perfect. Did it. There you go, my dear. JWB, those are your boots. Those are your boots. Nobody else's. And that's been custom done for you. All right. Uh, the painting for Mondays, what color should the background be or number? Uh, yeah, if you can just do some sort of chocolate brown background, you know, not even that dark. You can just do like a medium brown, kind of burnt sienna and burnt umber. Put those guys I, together. I, I'll have to go up and put a little gold up here. I really like that. I might bring the gold down a little further, but we can do that during the show too. <laughs> I'll just have it brown and then just kind of do that because I like the gold up there, don't you? Yeah. Well, I think yeah. that's really pretty. You might use that um, as a gold. Yeah, so anyway, those are some thoughts, but that's what we're going to do for Monday. And they were excellent thoughts. Well, I love this, the palette knife, what can we make kind of thing. I think that's fun. Again, I really think a candy cane sticking out of here and maybe a ginger mad band would be cute okay, if you decide to do it yourself. Okay, we can be painting this for days. I yeah. think we've done enough. We're two hours and three minutes. Sorry, bye. <laughs> <laughs> You've gone over your allotted limit. Darwin. Hey, thanks everybody for joining us. We'll be back soon. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Tell others about it and put stuff in a playlist. Boy, anything else? And subscribe to the Tech Bear. Right, Sammy? Subscribe to the Tech Bear. Judy and Sammy. And it's Judy Guitar singing the song. that She sings the song on the way out. Thank you, moderators, for all your help. And thank you, Sammy, for going backwards. Bye, everyone.
Bye. I'm a student, I say with glee, of Ginger Cook's Academy. Take your time and do not rush. Use ruby satin silver brush. Don't use black and mix the green. Learn what blend and grayscale mean. Yes, I hope each day to earn coaching praises as I learn. I'll be an artist, wait and see. Ginger means the world to me.